Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, and we're back to work on the barn. We'll see how much we can get done today. It is so hot. It's first thing in the morning. We wake up, and it's like 82 degrees, and then it just gets hotter and hotter. Very buggy. The gnats are terrible this year. But I'm hoping we can get all the door framing done, get this plastic up the plastic fencing up on this back wall and hopefully put up some rafters let's see what we can get done as soon as we get this project done and birds in this barn we are going fishing we do need a level though to repeat the same thing one two three four more times easy. okay we got all the doors framed in you can't really see it there's too much too much lumber but we got all the doors framed in I know I keep saying it, but it is miserable out here. These gnats are in your eyes and in your ears and up your nose and in your mouth. So if anybody knows something that deters gnats that doesn't stink too bad, I'd love to hear it. I think I've eaten about a million of them already today, and this didn't take us very long to put these two befores in. So we're going to go around the other side now, and we're going to staple down this plastic fencing to these and then we'll cut out the door opening then we'll be able to put the fencing on this back wall and then as soon as we make doors we can put chickens in there so let's get this stapled up and all the get all the plastic fencing done can you go grab me some more staples Hit me again. I walked off.
So because we're going downhill here, and the barn gets taller down here, the plastic, the fencing didn't reach all the way to the 2 by 10 So we need to come up with a way to fix that. I really don't want to cut a strip out of the fencing because we need that fencing to go around the outdoor pens. So we need to put some thought into that. But for now, I think we're going to work on rafters. We're ready to try to put one of these rafters together. And we're doing it up here on the second floor in the sun because we actually have a flat surface up here, which as you guys know, down on the ground, we don't have anything flat. So we're up here in the sun with a black shirt on. And we're gonna try to build this one rafter. I don't have enough gusset plates cut to do more than one. And we have to go to the store and get some lag bolts so we're just going to put this one together and try to set it where it goes before we go to town and get some some hardware Now fit up here. <laughs> Stupid bugs. Going this way instead of this way. All right, nail it up. Okay, while he's nailing that, I want to show you guys what I came up with to attach these because when I designed this building, I never thought about how I was going to attach it. So, yeah, <laughs> I came up with something though. So, here's a four by four. We nailed on some two by fours to the outside of it. They've got a lot of nails in them. They're not going anywhere. Then I've got some one bys that are gonna go in here like this. And then the uh, rafter will sit in between there. And then we're gonna put two lag bolts top and bottom here through all of it and I think I think that's enough to hold it there I guess we'll find out the first time a hurricane comes through I'm doing the best I can I'm not a builder and I'm not a designer so I find problems with my designs as I go and then I try to find a solution for it you need to go all the way down and then you go across Set this down in there 
and it's got to come this way. Okay, hold, can you hold it and I'll go to the other end? Okay. Okay, okay your way, about an inch. More? Yep. Huh? Yes. Keep going. Stop. Whoop. Okay, right there. And then that piece goes in there. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. It's nice and snug in there. And then we're going to put the two bolts through everything right there. Good morning. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I just spent the morning cutting up gusset plates so we can finish putting these rafters together and installing them. That's enough to get started. Take a while to put all these light bulbs in by hand. Let's so see, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because it it just reaches the other two by four by like a quarter, quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. So if we put the top one in from this side and then we put the bottom one in from the other side. Yeah. <laughs> So Ocean's putting in the last bolts in the last rafter. We got them all up. Very, very hot out here. I think it's over 100 degrees. I like it. You like it, babe? I love it. Not especially now it's done, huh? <laughs> we, when I designed this building, I made sure that the rafters were tall enough that we could walk up here without having to duck. So I think it worked out really well because here's the floor and I've got what, probably a foot above my head. And we got to thinking the other day, we've got a lot of stuff stored in the Winnebago in the back room. And we'll probably use this up here for storage. This would be a good place, once the roof's on, this would be a good place to store like Christmas decorations, uh, Halloween decorations, stuff like that. Along with feeders and waterers for the, that I'll need in the barn. So, super hot out here. It's late. I'm late making supper. It's 4.54 and I normally have dinner on the table at 5 o'clock. So Mikey's going to come running out saying, where's dinner? Where's dinner? But we want to get it done and with having to cut all the two by fours and the spacers and everything, it took a little bit longer than we had expected. Plus taking breaks because it's so hot out here, but it feels good to have this much done. The only thing we have left to do now to get the birds in here is to make the doors for downstairs uh, on the pens. And I think that's about it. We've got to mill up a log for siding and for flooring. So, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm not working on this tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, and we are back at the barn, building doors, and putting chickens in. So these are my whiting true greens. There's six hens and one rooster in here. And right now they're just crammed in the corner so they fit fine. We've got their nest box, water. I haven't come up with feed yet. Um, I don't want to continue using what I was using for feeders. So I'm going to come up with a different idea for that. But now we just have to set up a pen four more times.
Okay, this pen is complete. They have their nest box, they have their water, and they have a roosting bar. And they don't have any feed yet, but they'll get feed. When it's time to eat, I'll give them feed. And then, down here we have the Buff Orpingtons. They have their nest box, but no roosting bar yet. Eddie's working on that. And then down here, we have the Silver Lace Rooster. And there's a nesting box in there. Still need to put a roosting bar in there. And then tonight when all the hens go to roost in the hen house, we'll grab the silver laced hens and put them in with him. And that's all we're going to get done this week. It's super hot out, super uncomfortable. But we have these last two pens to do. We have to build the doors for them. These don't get nest boxes because right now these are grow out pens. For our meat birds which are some turkeys and some chicks so they don't need a nesting box they'll just need a roosting bar down there and we'll pick it up next week thanks for joining us guys